What's going on, YouTube? It is Electric Pulse 61. So, it's been something like two years, I think. Something like that since my last video. And, uh, yeah, I, I really have no good excuse. Um, I've been kind of active in the comments, but I just haven't been uploading. And, uh, it's my fault. But, we're back with another video today. After all this time later. And, uh, the last thing I promised was doing some ladders. Because we have platforms, but sometimes... Like here, I can't get on top of it, so it'd be nice if I could have a way to climb up there. And so the way we're going to do that is with ladders. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to create a new actor to use as our ladder, right? Because we have the jumper, the character, and the platform. So we need to make a ladder. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new subclass. And I already have the ladder uh, image ready, but you'll have to import that yourself if you want to do that. And we're going to call this ladder. And we're going to use the Java language. So we're going to say OK. It's going to compile, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to just, for now, make a new ladder. And we'll just put it like, I don't know, like here. That's a good place for it, right? So then we'll go and we will, remember, save the world. Now whenever the program runs, we have a ladder that does nothing. It just sits there. I can't climb it. I can jump. Everything's exactly the same. The only difference is there's now just a picture of a ladder here. So in order for us to actually have anything that happens, we need to edit the jumper to interact with the ladder. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on our jumper here. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add a new function, a new method. And we're going to call this method is on ladder, right? Because we have things like is on solid ground did bump head so we can detect what our jumper is doing right so the next thing we're going to need to do is be able to know if we're on the ladder or not right so how we're going to do that is we're going to create a function or a method excuse me called public boolean is on ladder right and what that's going to do is that's going to let us see if we're on the ladder so how are we going to check if we're on the ladder or not. Well, it's actually really simple. We just have to return the boolean is touching ladder.class. Now, why does this work? Because the actor, Greenfoot actors, have a built in method called is touching. And what that does is it, you give it a class, and then Greenfoot will automatically check if your actor, in this case the jumper, is touching any instances of a ladder. So for example, when we touch the ladder, this will start to return true, and because we are returning this, our isOnLadder function will return true as well. So let's go ahead and compile that. Let's get to think. So we have no errors, that's good. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to adjust how we interact with it, right? This ladder, this is on ladder method is good, but we don't ever do anything with it. So we have to actually add it to something that we're doing, right? So how we're going to do that is we're going to let us climb the ladder. That's what we're going to do. So how we're going to incorporate this is on ladder function is we're going to go down to our move method right here. So we have already programmed left and right arrow keys, right? That's why our jumper can move left and right. But now we want to incorporate two new keys. We want to be able to climb up and down the ladder. So what we're going to do is, for now, we're just going to copy this. Because programmers are lazy, remember. We're going to paste it in. So now we have two copies of the left, right, left, right. So we're going to change this key to up. And we're going to change this key to down. Now, of course, we usually are checking can we move left and can we move right. Because we need to do that to move left and right. But that's not going to help us moving up and down. But what we can do is we can make sure that the user can only move up and down when they're on the ladder. So what function do you think we're going to use? You guessed it, is on ladder. So we're going to just call is on ladder. And the x is being changed by the step. But what we need to do is change the y by the step. 
So when we're going up, we're changing y to go more towards the zero, and we're changing when we're going down to go more towards the bottom of the screen. So now when we recompile that and we run it, now whenever we go on this ladder, we will see it's more like what we expect. But there's still a problem, right? We only do this once, right? You can see how if I jump and then I time my thing at the last second, you can see how my dolphin jumps up, but he's still falling down. So why is that? That's because, if you remember, we still have this method called fall, and that's constantly applying a downward velocity to our jumper. And so what we need to do is we need to temporarily disable the gravity whenever you're on the ladder, because otherwise what's going to happen is you're just going to continue to fall. You won't be able to climb because, yeah, you'll increase your y-coordinate by a little amount, but then you'll immediately undo it with the fall coordinate as well. So what we have to do is we have to edit this so that we have a special case if you're on the ladder. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to add else if is on ladder and now we're going to create a new clause and what that's going to do is it's going to set our velocity equal to zero right but this isn't going to work perfectly like we'd expect and let me show you why so if we go back to the world and we're running the scenario, right? If I reset it, and we're running the scenario. Everything works as you'd expect, right? We go on the ladder. I can climb up and down. So everything seems like it's going great, right? Why would I need to do anything different? Well, let's go down here and try to jump on the ladder. I can jump on fine, right? No problems. But now let's jump from the bottom. And you'll see we get stuck. We can only jump to the bottom of the ladder, and then we get stuck. But why is this a problem? Well, it means that we can't actually jump up onto the ladder. And that's not really what a user might expect. They would think that you can jump up on the ladder, like if I'm down here, I could jump up to here and then stop. But this just looks like bad game design. And that's because it is bad game design. So what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our jumper class, and we're going to actually add a second clause up here. So not only do we want to be on the ladder, we also want to only stop ourselves from falling down. We can still jump up, we just can't fall down. So we just have to make sure that our velocity is less than zero. So if it's greater than or equal to zero, then we'll stop ourselves, right? Because downward velocity is positive. This way is positive. Up is negative. So if we have a downward velocity and we're touching the ladder, it'll stop us from falling anymore. So let's recompile that. And I misspelled velocity. Let's make sure we get that correctly. And now whenever we run, what happens? We still go on the ladder, like everyone would expect. But now whenever we jump up, we're on the ladder. And it works. It works just fine. So what else are we missing? Is our ladder done? Well, I would say it's almost done. There's one more thing that we still need to do. Let's try to jump from the top of the ladder. I'm pressing the space bar. You might be able to hear it, but I'm not jumping. And so to find out why we can't jump off the top of the ladder, stay tuned for a part two. If you're satisfied with how your ladder is now, absolutely just leave it like that because for all intents and purposes, that works like a ladder. But if you want to be able to jump off the top of the ladder up here, I'm going to go into that in the second part of this video. But this video is getting a little bit long, so I'm going to split this into two. So stick around for part two, and we will learn how to jump off just the top of a ladder. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. If you like this video, go ahead, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. But until then, I will see you all in part two. Bye-bye.